And if you guys are ready, I think it's time to jump into this video. So I have these three quads here. These are so, so pretty. So this quad is called Stop Ruffling My Feathers. So as you can see, these are super shimmery and pretty. Look at that. These are so pretty and reflective, so I'm actually going to wet them today when we use them on the eyes because they look really foiled as I'm swatching them. I just think they're so pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to incorporate all of these shades on my eyes. So not exactly every shade in these, but I am going to use all three on my eyes so you guys can get a good kind of overview of how they look, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try to use all of these today, and I want to do something orange, blue, and then a little bit of the blush on the eyes too. Too. Sounding a little stuffy today and kind of sound a little bit sick today, but that's just because it's humid out and my allergies are on fleek today. So I'm first going to prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Eden Primer. So for a long time, I never used eyeshadow primers. I just used concealer, but this is like a concealer but it's specifically an eyeshadow primer, so I love it. It cancels out like if you have redness on your eyes, the veins, the late nights. This eyeshadow primer is like my favorite and I just buff it out with a big concealer brush just to blend it all over the lid. So I really want to jump into this one first and I'm going to grab the transition shade here. So on the back it actually says where you can put the shadows and stuff, but we're just going to ignore that and do it how we want today. One thing, like I love Wet n Wild so much, but one thing I cannot stand is when these stickers are just so, so tight on the packaging. I mean, hey, that's really great. Nobody can open these in the store. I can assure you that because if they do, they're definitely going to break a nail. Every time I open this, I have to use scissors or else I will seriously break a nail. So I'm just warning you. Definitely pull a pair of scissors out to open this up or you will chip your nail polish. As you're doing this, you ask yourself, why do I have to ruin beautiful palettes and things with scissors? Gotta protect the nails. Getting my nails done is like an all day event. So I would rather do this than mess up my nails. So I'm gonna grab this shade here, the transition from Hasta La Costa Baby. And we're actually gonna pop it in the crease. I'm gonna be using my Tapered Blending E40 for my favorites brush set with Sigma. If you wanna support your girl, I'll have this link down below. I have a set with Sigma, has all my faves in it, five go-to brushes that I use for all of my looks, and this one is in it. I love this for the crease. I'm just gonna pick that color up, and this is a really nice, kind of neutral brown. So I'm just gonna blend that right up into the crease, up towards the brow bone and then I'm just kind of winging this out. Always wing it out. When in doubt, wing it out. So first off, just right off the bat, what I can tell about these shadows is they're first off very soft. So they're blending really easily onto the eye. They're not patchy. I'm not getting any patchiness. And to me, they seem very buildable. So they're not like super off the wall pigmented, but they are really nicely buildable and you can just kind of press on the color and then lightly blend out and it adds a little bit more pigmentation each time. So I'm just blending this out and I'm also bringing it kind of back down onto the outer corner. These baked blushes are so pretty. So I swatched them and I love that they're baked because they give a nice shimmer. So you can actually use this on your lid too. So I'm gonna be using the Hummingbird Hype on the lid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this color up just like on a flat brush. And I've been using this spray, I got it on Amazon, it literally looks like a hairspray bottle, but it is a really nice setting mist because it kind of mists out. So it just kind of mists really nicely and it's not super harsh. And I like that it's a spring water. So this is literally just like water in here. I'm just gonna mist it onto the brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying that on the lid. Wow, that is so pretty. So you can most definitely use these blushes as eyeshadows. So that's really, really nice. It's like a really pretty kind of orange. And I'm just kind of bringing this right to that outer corner and then stopping because that's where we're gonna lay down the blue. So it's not super foiled, but it does have a nice shimmer to it, which I really, really like. And I love the color. So now we're gonna add in the blue. So we're gonna go back into the Hasta La Costa Baby quad and we're gonna grab this shade here. This is kind of like a bluish green. I'm just gonna grab that again and I'm gonna spritz my brush. That is pigmented. That is really, really pigmented. So I'm just placing that right on the outer corner and I actually brought it a little bit underneath the eye as well. And then just taking a clean blending brush, I'm gonna go in and really blend out that blue. 
you just want to take a blending brush like this and kind of have it super clean with nothing on it so you can really pull out that color and now I'm gonna go back in with some more of the blue and then just kind of like add it back into the outer corner so now we're gonna need a color to kind of transition this blue into the orange and I really want to do it with this it's called dare to soar baked blush and this looks so red in the pan, but it's actually a nice kind of pinky, peachy color when it's blended out. I think it will really look super pretty against the blue and the orange. So I'm just going to pick it up on a blending brush. And I am going to wet the brush just to avoid any fallout that it might have. And I'm just going to go in between the blue and the orange and really press that in between both of those, bringing them together. Totally looks nothing like a blush when it's on the eyes. It looks like a shadow. So I'm just kind of stamping over both of those colors and just lightly blending them together. And to really blend it in with the blue, I just take the brush that has the blue on it and just blend that edge of that pink color. I'm gonna grab some more of that blush and I'm actually going to start bringing this kind of under the eye. So now I'm going to go into this palette and this is called Flock Party and I'm going to grab this brow bone shade and I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the inner corner and on the brow bone. Because I didn't set my face and I just, I'm going to wipe away some of that fallout with like a makeup wipe. I'm going to add a little bit of concealer after I've wiped off that fallout. If you just put this over fallout, you're going to have like a splotch all over your face of eyeshadow and concealer mixed. Now I'm going to go in and just straighten this out a little bit. Just use a concealer brush just like that to straighten up the edges and it really, really helps. So we have two liquid liners from Wet n Wild and typically their liquid liners are not my favorite because they crack a little bit, but I did swatch these and the gold was so pretty as well as this green. So I really want to use the gold kind of in a different way. I kind of want to put it on my inner corner, but I'm scared. I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to dab it right on the inner corner of the eye. And I think the key with these is you don't want to use too, too much of the eyeliner or else it's going to crack. So I just put a little bit like that. I'm just going to take a small brush and then I'm just going to blend it. I'm going to grab the crease shade from Flock Party, this gold right here. It's just really pretty. And I'm just going to pop that over the yellow because I feel like the liner wasn't blending out super well. All right, so I definitely think that the gold, if you do use it, use just a little bit of it to blend out because using a lot of it, it gets a little tough to blend it. All right, I'm going to be using this liquid eyeliner, mega liner in the shade Winged and Wild. This is really pretty. It's like a dark, dark green. I'm actually pretty impressed with this eyeliner. There's no streakiness. It's really kind of slick, so it's easy to wing it out. There's no chunkiness to it, which is really nice. So I didn't experience any cracking with this eyeliner. It worked so well, so I really, really like this. This really impressed me. I love the color too. I can't say I own any liquid liners that are like a dark kind of army green. I think that's really, really pretty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and false lashes and I'll be back so we could do the blushes and the lip. All right, so after I popped on the lashes, I did add a little tiny bit of the blue just right underneath the wing, just a little bit more, just to kind of emphasize the lower lash line. I feel like the look really came together and I love, love the way it looks. It really does remind me of like a bird. So now we're gonna move on to the face. We have three blushes to play with, but before I do that, I really wanna fix my bronzer contour situation. So I am just gonna dip into my cream and the highlight palette from NYX. You could use any kind of cream bronzer or contour. And I'm just kind of buffing this into the cheeks really quickly before we add blush. I have been liking using creams more than powders, especially in my tutorials, because if I do get fallout, it's really easy to clean up. And I just love the dewiness overall of like a cream versus a powder. And for this look, I wanna do something really glowy because these blushes are gonna look so pretty, kind of glowy-ish. So I thought I would do like a cream bronzer look. So I just kind of blend that into the cheeks, kind of blend it right in where I would normally bronze, just with the cream product. I quickly wanted to mention this powder. This is not drugstore. This is actually by Marc Jacobs. And this is the Finish Line Invisible Perfecting Coconut Powder. And what I like about this is if you do wanna go over it with a cream product, you can and it doesn't cake up. It also doesn't take away too much shine from the face. It just kinda of leaves a glowy look to it, but it still sets it in place. So I love, love using this. I've been using this like every day. 
All right, so now that we have our face situation worked out, we're gonna blush up the cheeks. So first of all, I just wanna say, I am so impressed with the fact that you can use these on your eyes. So that is a win-win right there with these. I think they're so pretty. So now we're gonna see how they perform on the cheeks. So I typically always use like kind of an orangey pink blush. So I'm definitely gonna be using this one. This one to me, it's called Don't Flutter Yourself. It almost looks like a highlight swatch. So I kind of want to use it as a highlight too. So I'm gonna pick this one up first. This is called Hummingbird Hype. And I'm just gonna pick that up on my brush. Ooh, that is really pigmented, really, really pigmented. So just tap off the brush so you don't have too, too much. And I'm just gonna add it right into the cheeks. Ooh, that is pretty. So if you have my complexion, I would say I'm like a light, kind of like light to medium. This really shows up nice and peachy on the cheeks. It's very natural looking. It has a glow to it because it's a baked blush. With these, you could really bring them up pretty high because they have sparkle in them and they almost give like a highlighted effect to the look. So I absolutely love this color, this is so pretty. But I am just gonna grab a little bit of Dare to Soar. And this one, it looks really intimidating because we actually use this on the eyes, but I really just wanna pop this on the cheeks a little bit. I'm gonna dip into it, you can see you really get a lot of pigment there. So I'm gonna tap it off. I'm just gonna dust this right onto the apple of the cheeks. And because it's really pigmented and very pink, I'm just gonna go over it with my bronzer brush and blend it a little bit. Okay, so what I like about this one is it does add kind of like a pinky flush. It doesn't show up quite as dark as it does in the pan. This is almost like a wine pink. It's so, so nice on the eyes. Love this, love this. And then we have Don't Flutter Yourself. So this is more of like, I would say this is a blush for a fair skin tone because it is so, so light. I did not use this one initially because to me, this looks like a highlighter and this would not show up very good on me at all. So we're actually going to use it as a highlighter. So I'm gonna pick it up on my brush, just like this, it is really pink. Spray it. And I'm just gonna lightly go kind of on the fattest part of my cheek and just bring it down. That is so pretty, wow. Okay, so I really, really like this one too. This definitely will show up if you have a more fair skin tone. If you're very fair, this is gonna show up really beautifully on you. But for me, I really like this as kind of like a blush topper because it adds that beautiful sheen to it. I really like it over the top of the other shades I applied. You can see that glow on the cheek. It's almost like a blush and a highlighter mix. These are so pretty. Now that I've highlighted the cheeks, I'm just gonna quickly highlight the rest of my face. And I am using my Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlighter. I love, love this highlighter. You can see, obviously, I love it. I love this shade here the most, and I'm just going to apply it right into the center of my brows and then bring it down to my nose, chin, cupid's bow. The reason why I'm not using the kind of blush highlighter anywhere else in my face is because, because it is pink, I really did not want to put it like on the bridge of my nose. Also gonna add some highlighter right here. I'm just gonna tap in a little bit more highlight over the blush. Okay, so we have now moved on to literally what I've been waiting for this whole tutorial. We're gonna be trying out the Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. So as far as I know, Wet n Wild has never done a lip scrub, but I am crazy about lip scrubs. I have tons from Jeffree Star, I have some from Lush, I have some from Beauty Bakery. So this one smells like watermelon. It smells so good, you guys, it smells amazing. I'm obsessed with watermelon, so I absolutely love the smell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub my finger into the scrub just to kind of get it scrubby, if that makes sense. What I mean by get it scrubby is I really wanna mix the product around so you can see a little bit more texture on top. And you really wanna kind of dig your finger in there and swirl it around. Now, you can do this in the shower. You can do this just like how I'm doing it. The ultimate test is, does it taste good? Yes, it tastes like sugar. So I just kind of put it all over my lips and move it all around. Now, because I'm not in my shower or by my sink, I'm just gonna use a little makeup wipe to wipe off the excess. And then because my lips are really red, I just go over it with my foundation brush. It worked really well. My lips feel really soft from it. And it definitely doesn't have like an oily feeling afterwards. With some lip scrubs, I really do like this feeling. After you use them, they kind of leave a soft, kind of lotion type feeling on your lips, if that makes sense. They just are really softening. I don't feel like this is like that, but it did exfoliate my lips really nicely 
Bonus points because it tastes like watermelon and I love tasting lip scrubs. It's like true life, I eat lip gloss, I eat lip scrub. That's how I feel about lip scrubs. I love tasting them and it is so, so freaking good. I love it. And I think this is really cute. So overall for a drugstore lip scrub, this is great. I really love all of these colors. But I think I'm gonna go for possibly these two. I really wanna mix these because they look so pretty. So I'm gonna pop these on. These are called the Color Icon Lip Glosses. So Wet n Wild usually does like metallic liquid lipsticks in their collections or liquid lipsticks. But I am really glad that they have done a gloss because I think for summer, this is so perfect. I think it's so pretty. And these colors are really gorgeous. So I'm first gonna go in with Pout of Paradise. And this is like an orange. That is a really pretty color. Oh, I love this. These glosses are pretty pigmented. When I first swatched them, I thought the same thing. I was like, wow, these are pretty pigmented for a drugstore gloss. They're not sheer. Now they're not like opaque like Anastasia's. They're not like super, super pigmented, but they are really, really pigmented. Like I was shocked because I was expecting them to be kind of sheer and like not really pigmented. I don't know, just drugstore glosses are not super pigmented really ever, but these are, and they're really glossy too. They have a nice sheen to them. So I thought this was really pretty. Now I'm gonna go over with Fly Gal, and this is like a light pink. So I totally forgot there was a primer spray in this collection and I forgot to use it, but we're gonna use it now because a lot of primer water sprays, ones from Smashbox, even like MAC Fix Plus, you can use that to prime your face, although it is sort of like a setting type mist. I like to use MAC Fix Plus all the time to prime. And this is kind of the same thing. Primer Waters Fix Plus, kind of the same just there for me. Maybe not for a lot of people, but for me, I use them for both. Because Primer Waters have a stickier base, they give you a more glowy look. So I do like to prep or set with them. So that's what we're gonna do with this one. This is a really cute bottle. It has a little flower on it. And it just says Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. I've always been a really big fan of the pump on Wet n Wild setting sprays. Like their setting mist is so nice. So I'm hoping that this spray bottle has the same type of mister. Oh yes, it does. All right, beauties. So I'm back. I popped on these feather earrings because I had to take the opportunity since we just did a bird collection video. I had to pop these on. And I really love the way this look came out. I really, really love it. And I wanna give you guys my top three products from this collection that I can recommend you that I think you should get if you do get anything. So I first wanna say that these lip glosses are amazing. They're so pigmented and especially for a drugstore gloss, I was really impressed with the swatches of these. The colors are really wearable and beautiful and they feel so soft on the lips. So I really love these. The blushes out of all three, I really loved Hummingbird Hype and I love this one, Don't Flutter Yourself. This is a beautiful blush topper. Like look at this highlight I have. That's literally mostly this right here. And I love that these are baked. So they have like a highlighter kind of feel to them. So I would say that these blushes are so pretty. You should definitely pick one of these up. This is a beautiful blush topper. Really, really like this. And once again, love that they're baked and they're not just like a matte blush. This is really kind of summery. The eyeshadow quads are really pretty too. My favorite one is Asta La Costa Baby because of this blue. Absolutely love this blue. I think it's really pretty like on the outer corner. It's really hard. I feel like I'm naming everything. I feel like I like this whole collection. The eyeliner really impressed me. It never cracked. It still, to this moment, has not cracked. So I am really impressed with these new Wet n Wild eyeliners. If this is a new formula, it definitely has to be because it didn't crack. It is amazing. And this green color is so nice. It's like a garden color. It's like a green grass. I love, love this green eyeliner and I don't have any liquid eyeliners that are army green. So this was really unique to me and I loved it. But if I had to name one thing that I loved, these blushes were beautiful. So I really love the blushes. They're my all time favorite from the collection. Absolutely amazing. So to sum up the Flights of Fancy collection from Wet n Wild, I was really impressed with everything and I feel that this collection is better than Gothographic, which was their last collection. I just love, love this. I love the hummingbird theme. I think it's so pretty. I think the colors are really what hooked me. Just these beautiful summery shades, all the glowy products, I just love. So if you guys love this look, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your week is absolutely amazing and I will see you in my next tutorial.